Hello everybody and welcome to a new chapter Saudi Arabia the land of hot sands so in this chapter we will be diving into the deep deserts of Saudi Arabia and experiencing the climate and meeting a few people from there and seeing the kind of vegetation that grows there now when we see Saudi Arabia Saudi Arabia is a large country that is situated in the Arabian Peninsula what is a peninsula a peninsula is a piece of land that is jutting out into the sea and it is covered by water on three sides so if you can see here this is the arabian peninsula and this is a piece of land that is jutting out into sea and it is covered by water on three sides that is one two and three so it is covered on water on all three sides Arabian Peninsula is the largest peninsula in the world so this is something you have to remember that the Arabian Peninsula is the largest peninsula in the world and if you see Saudi Arabia Saudi Arabia lies between the Red Sea on the west and the Persian Gulf on the east so if this is Saudi Arabia you can see that it has the Persian Gulf on the eastern side and the Red Sea on the western side and the capital of Saudi Arabia is Riyadh so please remember the capital of Saudi Arabia is Riyadh now when we look at the landscape of Saudi Arabia most of Saudi Arabia is a rocky plateau and it is covered by vast desert like you can see here far and wide the only thing that you can see in the landscape is desert and when there is desert in the desert there are small hills of sand called as sand dunes so if you can see in this picture here you can see there are very small hills right these small hills made up of sand are called as sand dunes and these sand dunes are not stationary in one place they keep moving around how do they move around because of very strong winds and dust storm these sand dunes are shifted from one place to another like you can see in this example here there are strong winds that is breezing that is carrying away the sand from one hill and placing it and making another hill now you know that because there is no vegetation there is nothing to hold the sand in its place that's why strong winds are able to just carry the sand from one place to another and if you see the landscape there are no lakes or no rivers in this land but an interesting thing is that at some places some underground water sources come up to the surface and this forms a fertile area called the oasis so you can see the picture right here this is the oasis you can see that this is not a lake but it is groundwater that has surfaced up it has come from underground and all the sand around the oasis becomes fertile because of which plants start to grow you can see nowhere in the land there are any plants but around this oasis you can see some plants growing now when we see the climate of Saudi Arabia we will see that the Tropic of Cancer passes right through the center of Saudi Arabia you can see this is the Tropic of Cancer this right here is Saudi Arabia and Tropic of Cancer is passing right through the center of Saudi Arabia now because of this the climatic conditions of Saudi Arabia is very very hot and dry and the country gets very very little rainfall the humidity is also very low and the sun seems to be shining brightly all throughout the year whether it is winter whether it is summer or whatever season it may be the sun is shining brightly and if you remember in the chapter climate we studied that all of these conditions are perfect for deserts to form so conditions such as hot and dry climatic conditions with very little rainfall very little humidity and brightly shining sun throughout the year are perfect conditions for deserts to form now on the contrast if you see nights the nights are cool because the sand cools down very quickly at night so that is why the nights are cool whereas if you see in winters the night can get very very cold because sand cools down very quickly and it gets very cold during winter nights now let us move on and see the vegetation and the agriculture that can be achieved in this area when you see this 
in a desert there are very few plants that can grow if you remember in the chapter of greenland we said that only those animals that can survive in extreme cold can survive there or can grow there same way in saudi arabia only plants that can withstand very hot and dry conditions can survive here for that the examples are cacti so these two are cacti and certain short shrubs like this one here grow in saudi arabia apart from this when there is an oasis and there's a fertile land plants like date palm and certain crops like wheat and barley are cultivated around the oasis so this is about the vegetation and agriculture of saudi arabia when we talk about the people of saudi arabia Saudi Arabia is a very rich country as it has very vast deposits of petroleum. Now this is a natural resource that is found in Saudi Arabia which is very very vast and the country makes money by selling this petroleum to other countries and by the money that they earn by selling petroleum they build modern cities like Riyadh and Jeddah. Riyadh we know is the capital another very modern city is Jeddah. and these two cities have all the modern facilities available and the standard of living is also quite high we even noticed that there are a lot of indians who settle in these parts of saudi arabia now an interesting thing is that though we have modern cities like riyadh and jeddah when we see the society of saudi arabia it is very very traditional and it is ruled by the king and when we say traditional we see that there are certain rules and regulations to be followed like women have to wear abaya what is abaya abaya is a traditional black dress that leaves only the eyes open which saudi arabian women have to wear when they have to step out so before going out of their houses they have to wear an abaya which is a black dress now this is not just women men also have a traditional wear that is called the tob Now when you say tob tob is the traditional loose fitted white robe that men wear and they wear it along with a hair scarf which covers their head so this is a cloth that covers their head that is held in place with the help of a ring so tob is the traditional loose fitted white robe that men wear along with a white cloth or maybe even a colored cloth covering their head and it is held in place with a ring This is about the people of current Saudi Arabia. When we look at the original people or the traditional people of Saudi Arabia, the traditional people of Saudi Arabia were nomads. Okay? And even today some of the people follow this kind of nomadic lifestyle and they're called as Bedouins. So Bedouins are the traditional people of Saudi Arabia who were nomads. and when you see their lifestyle their main occupation was rearing cattle and they would move from one place to another in search of pastures for their flock of goat sheep and camel to feed on like for example they would generally move from one oasis to another stay there for some time let their cattle feed on all the grass around the oasis and they would move from that place to another Now the common way in which they used to survive is they used to go and sell their animals and their animal products at a nearby village to get some money in which they would buy food grains and they would live in tents which are made up of animal skin so you can see here this is the traditional bedouin tent which is made up of animal skin but now more and more people are moving into the villages and settling down and they have started moving around by cars and jeeps so Now when we see the industries of Saudi Arabia we will notice that several large industries have been set up by Saudi Arabia by using the money earned by selling petroleum we already saw that petroleum is in large and vast deposits and this is a very rich natural resource that this country has so by the money that they earn they have built several industries what are the industries these industries are petroleum refining industries iron and steel industries they have cement industries and fertilizer industries so these four are the other industries that they have built now they are already rich because of petroleum 
they have also built these and this has led to the increase of wealth and prosperity of the people of saudi arabia now apart from all of this saudi arabia also has a religious importance what is the religious importance of saudi arabia the religion islam was founded by prophet muhammad in saudi arabia so you all know muslims follow the religion islam and this was founded in saudi arabia by prophet muhammad and when you see millions of muslims from all over the world come to mecca which is the most important pilgrim center for them so this is mecca now this is one of the most prominent pilgrim centers for muslims you can see there are tons and thousands of muslims who have flocked to render their prayers here so this is the holy place of the muslims apart from this there is another very prominent religious center called medina when you see medina this is medina so medina is another very important pilgrim center for muslims so two iconic muslim pilgrimage centers are present in saudi arabia now when you see saudi arabia saudi arabia is the best example to show that even a land as hot and dry and barren as saudi arabia can be converted into a rich and a prosperous place and the government of saudi arabia has done everything possible and has intelligently used their natural resources for the benefit of its people so this is something that we have to learn from the people of saudi arabia now this completes the chapter saudi arabia let's do a quick recap of what all we studied we looked at the landscape of the place and we saw how sand dunes or small hills that kept moving from one place to another because of sand storms and we saw oases which were nothing but ground water that starts to surface up creating a fertile land then we spoke about the climate of that place we saw that because the tropic of cancer passes right through the center of saudi arabia it's a very hot and dry climatic conditions and the climatic conditions are so apt that deserts can form and we saw that the desert winters get very cold because the sand cools down very quickly then we moved on to the vegetation of saudi arabia where we saw only short shrubs and certain cacti can withstand the heat of the desert so only they grow and certain plants do grow around the oases like date palm and we do cultivate agricultural crops like barley and wheat then we spoke about the people of saudi arabia we saw that though they have very modern cities like riyadh and jeddah the original people of saudi arabia were very traditional and they have traditional outfit like the abaya which is for women that is a black dress where only the eyes are seen and tob for the men which is a loose fitted white robe which is worn along with a white cloth on their head which is held in place with a ring and we saw that the traditional people of saudi arabia were called as bedouins who were nomadic and moved from one place to another and they built tents made up of animal skin then we spoke about the industries of saudi arabia like the petroleum refining industry then we spoke about iron and steel industry we spoke about cement industry and lastly we saw that they also have fertilizer industry then we saw that saudi arabia also has a religious importance and two iconic pilgrimage centers for muslims is in saudi arabia which is mecca and medina so with this we complete the chapter saudi arabia if you have any doubts please get back to us if you like the video please hit the like button please share and subscribe to our channel thank you